If a radicand is not a perfect square or perfect cube, it can often be simplified. Remember factors are numbers that can be multiplied together to give larger numbers. A prime factor is a factor that is a prime number. That is, it can't be factored into anything smaller. We'll assume that you know how to factor numbers into prime factors at this point. If not, you may need to review it from a previous math course. In this example, we're asked to simplify the square root of 72. 72 can be factored to the prime numbers 3 times 3 times 2 times 2 times 2. If you multiply these numbers together, you can see their product equals 72. We'll spread these out a bit, circle the pair of 3's and the pair of 2's. We always circle pairs of identical prime numbers when simplifying square roots. Now we'll separate the single square root into three separate square roots. The square root of 3 times 3 times the square root of 2 times 2 times the square root of 2. The square root of 3 times 3 is the square root of 3 squared, which is simply 3. The square root of 2 times 2 is the square root of 2 squared, or simply 2. And the single 2 cannot be factored anymore, so the square root of 2 is just the square root of 2. So we're left with 3 times 2 times the square root of 2. 3 times 2 is equal to 6. And we'll bring down the square root of 2. So we're left with 6 times the square root of 2. We'll write it more compactly as 6 root 2. So in summary, the square root of 72 can be simplified to 6 root 2. Let's do another example. We're asked to find the square root of 864. If we keep factoring 864 until we get prime factors, we end up with 3 3's and 5 2's multiplied together. Looking for pairs, we can circle a pair of 3's, a pair of 2's, and another pair of 2's. We'll rearrange the numbers a bit to put their pairs together and the leftover numbers on the right. Now we'll break it up into four separate square roots. The square root of 3 times 3, times the square root of 2 times 2, times the square root of 2 times 2 again, times the square root of 3 times 2. The square root of 3 times 3 is just 3. The square root of 2 times 2 is just 2. Again, the square root of 2 times 2 is equal to 2. The square root of 3 times 2 is just the square root of 3 times 2. So now we have 3 times 2 times 2 times the square root of 3 times 2. 3 times 2 times 2 is equal to 6 times 2, or 12. And we'll just bring down the square root of 3 times 2. The square root of 3 times 2 is the same as the square root of 6. So we're left with 12 times the square root of 6, which we can compact to 12 root 6. We'll summarize by stating that the square root of 864 is equal to 12 root 6. Now we'll see if we can simplify a cube root. We're asked to simplify the cube root of 144. We can factor 144 into the prime numbers 3 times 3 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. When simplifying cube roots, we circle groups of three identical numbers. So we'll circle this group of 2s. That's the only group of three identical numbers we can find. And we'll rearrange the numbers so the group of three twos comes first, followed by the three times three times two. Now we'll break it up into two cube roots. The cube root of two times two times two, times the cube root of three times three times two. The cube root of two times two times two is the same as the cube root of two cubed, or just two. The cube root of 3 times 3 times 2 cannot be simplified, so we just copy it down here. So we're left with 2 times the cube root of 3 times 3 times 2. 3 times 3 times 2 is the same as 9 times 2, or 18. So the cube root of 3 times 3 times 2 can be written as the cube root of 18. So we're left with 2 times the cube root of 18, which we can write in a more compact form here. We'll summarize by stating that the cube root of 144 can be simplified to 2 times the cube root of 18. We'll do one more example. We're asked to simplify the cube root of 648. 
648 can be factored to the prime numbers of 3 times 3 times 3 times 3 times 2 times 2 times 2. Multiply all these numbers together and you should come up with 648. For cube roots, we find groups of 3 and circle them. So we can circle 3 3's and 3 2's. We'll rearrange the numbers so the group of 3 3's and the group of 3 2's are together. And we're left with a single 3 at the end. Now we'll break it up into 3 separate cube roots. The cube root of 3 times 3 times 3 times the cube root of 2 times 2 times 2 times the cube root of 3. The cube root of 3 times 3 times 3 is the same as the cube root of 3 cubed, or 3. And the cube root of 2 times 2 times 2 is the same as the cube root of 2 cubed, or 2. The cube root of 3 cannot be simplified, so we just copy it down here. Now we're left with 3 times 2 times the cube root of 3. 3 times 2 is equal to 6. And the cube root of 3 can be copied down here. Now we're left with 6 times the cube root of 3. And we'll compact it and write it here as 6 times the cube root of 3. So we'll summarize by stating that the cube root of 648 can be simplified to 6 times the cube root of 3. We'll summarize the steps used to simplify the square root of a number using prime factors. First factor the numbers down to its prime factors. Then look for any group of two identical factors and circle any you find. Next rearrange the numbers so circled groups are together and any leftover numbers are on the right. At this point break the single square root into separate square roots of each pair and the leftover numbers. Now simplify the square root of each pair and bring down the square root of any leftover numbers on the right. Next multiply any numbers that can be multiplied either outside or inside any radicals. Lastly write the answer in the most compact form it can be. Now we'll summarize the steps used to simplify the cube root of a number using prime factors. Start by factoring the number down to its prime factors. Now look for any groups of three identical factors and circle any you find. At this point, rearrange the numbers so the circled groups are together on the left and any leftover numbers are on the right. Now break the single cube root into separate cube roots, the cube root of each group of three and the cube root of any leftover numbers on the right. Next, simplify the cube roots of the groups of three and bring down the cube root of any leftover numbers that can't be simplified. Now multiply any numbers that can be multiplied either outside of a radical or inside of the radical. Lastly, write the answer in the most compact form it can be.